Emirates has been flying some of its Airbus A380 aircraft just 30 miles from their normal home at Dubai International Airport to Dubai World Central for storage. Eerie photos released by the carrier a few weeks ago show the fleet grounded at the unfinished airport. Dubai World Central Airport is intended to become a vast base for Emirates in the future. For now, however, it's mostly used by cargo and low-cost carriers in addition to the Dubai Airshow. But the vast expanse of land it offers means that it's perfect for storing aircraft. As such, Emirates has been ferrying its aircraft to the southern Dubai airport. So far, Emirates has flown 117 aircraft to Dubai World Central. This figure is made up of both Airbus A380s and Boeing 777s. These are the only two types operated by the airline. In total, Emirates has 270 aircraft in its fleet. Of these, 218 have been stored, with 117 at Dubai World Central. The remaining 101 are in storage at Dubai International Airport. Emirates regularly stores small portions of its fleet when they're out of action for 48 hours or more. In fact, 10 years ago, during the Icelandic volcanic ash cloud crisis, the airline grounded a significant portion of its fleet. Storing aircraft is no easy task. As such, deciding to store them is a decision that's not taken lightly. Storing them takes time, and restoring them takes time too. Typically, deserts are perfect places to store aircraft due to their lower humidity. However, the plane needs to be protected from any possible contaminants such as dust and sand, in some cases, even birds. To keep the aircraft secured, any ingress point will be covered. This can include engines and data probes, Internally, all the window blinds are closed and batteries disconnected. According to Emirates Senior Vice President of Engineering, Ahmed Safa, storing each aircraft takes a team of four to six people around 12 hours. While the fleet remains grounded, Emirates' maintenance team will inspect the aircraft every five to seven days. Quick inspections involve walking around the plane to ensure that everything looks okay. More intensive checks will see the aircraft powered up to verify that everything still works. When Emirates decides that it wants to reintroduce the fleet, even more time is required. Four to five people are needed for the process, which takes up to 24 hours to complete. However, given that Emirates doesn't appear to be resuming its regular schedule anytime soon, there is plenty of time to plan the return. Emirates is currently just operating a skeleton schedule, almost solely using its fleet of Boeing 777 aircraft. When did you last fly on an Emirates aircraft? Let us know in the comments below. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.